Holy Sith, this cabinet is amazing. I know that was really cheesy, but it sure beats the thing I did right before this. I'll put that. Ow. God. This is Killer Arcade Games. I'm Chris, and I can't open my jaw because it's smashed in here. Alright, so let's move on. This is my review of the Star Wars Arcade 1-Up cabinet. I know it's pretty late, so I'm going to try to keep it short. These have been out for quite a while. You've probably seen a review about it, but I really wanted to share my thoughts about this cabinet with you. I think Arcade 1-Up has done a great job. That's a little spoiler right there for you. Now I need to stop and tell you how I got this cabinet. I want to say thank you very much to an anonymous subscriber who sent me the money to buy this cabinet. I can't say it was totally out of the blue, but it was very unexpected. I had put out on the community page that I would like to buy one of these cabinets for my wife. People were finding them at $50. I couldn't even find them in stores, period. I searched all over the place, so I said, if anybody happens to find one for $50 and doesn't mind buying it for me, I will drive to you, pick it up, give you $50 uh, profit on top of what you paid for this. That would be great, you know, but I, I didn't really expect to get any replies or anything. I was just kind of throwing it out there and hoping. A couple hours later, I had an email from PayPal saying someone sent me the money to buy this cabinet. They sent it mainly as a thank you for the help that I've given through videos online. So that was really, really cool of them. I was totally blown away. They did not want any credit for it. They wanted to remain anonymous. So thank you so much, anonymous donor. Uh, that sounds very weird, like he gave me a, a kidney or something, but thank you very much for this cabinet. That was really cool. It also came on the day of our 11th wedding anniversary. So it was like a really cool thing for my wife and I to put together, together. And uh, actually when I say together, I live streamed it, you may have been there. I made her do all the work while I stood here and talked to you guys. <laughs> but she actually enjoyed setting it all up. This is kind of like her cabinet. So uh, she's really excited. Now let me start also by saying she's a huge Star Wars fan if you didn't guess already. She doesn't care that much about Arcade 1UP. She thinks they're cool and all for me, but when she saw this one came out, she was like, I have to have this. She also wants a Star Wars pinball, so we're gonna see how, uh, when that comes out, we're probably gonna have to get that one too. But this one actually is only up in the game room up here, just temporarily. This is just so I can work on it and do videos with it. Uh, this is her cabinet, this goes in the living room. I know, I hope you guys are sitting down. Yes, I did say the living room. So pretty cool that I found an arcade one up that my wife wanted bad enough to put in the living room. Thank you again, anonymous donor. I'm going to get into the review now. I'm basically going to do this review from top to bottom. I really didn't know how to group all this stuff, uh, but let's start with the marquee. The fact that it comes with the light up marquee out of the box is a huge plus. This is not the first arcade one up to come with a light up marquee, I know, but I just want to mention how this is a really huge plus and this marquee looks good. The light is nice and even. I'm not gonna get too into reviewing the marquee itself because I do plan to compare it to all of the other third-party arcade one-up marquees I have. So let's move on down. The biggest thing I noticed when this thing first booted up is, oh my God, the screen looks so much better than most arcade one-up cabinets. It is shockingly good. Um, you can't really tell through video necessarily, but it looks unbelievable in person. The blacks are really deep on this, which is nice. It's not like an OLED screen, but it's pretty darn close. And it looks like the screen itself, the panel, is actually closer to the top of the screen. I don't know how to word that, but it's like it's a little bit closer and it just looks a lot better. It's bright. I love this screen. I wish I could put them in all my cabinets, but uh, this one's really nice. And it's actually a different model from what I can tell. It's at least a different model. I don't know if it's a different maker, but on the back of it, you can see there's a whole different sticker. It's not the usual stickers that we all pay attention to when we're modding these cabinets. Before I forget, underneath the marquee is actually the speakers. Now, they used to come on the control deck, which I never really loved, and I never used them when they were there. When I modded, I always moved them. Having two speakers under the marquee is much more realistic to the real arcade cabinets. And while I'm talking about real arcade cabinets, this one looks the most like the real thing as far as any Arcade 1UP cabinet goes. They've made one that actually looked like the real cabinet. This cabinet came out in 1983. I was born in 1983, so I never actually played the real thing. I've seen it a few times, never played it, but I always thought it looked cool, and I think Arcade 1UP did a really good job of kind of replicating it. I know it's not exact, but I think they got as close as they possibly could with what they're working with nowadays, these types of monitors. It just looks good. It doesn't just look like another arcade one-up, which is nice. It's also about three inches taller than your average arcade one-up. Um, I don't really know why. I mean, I guess it's probably just the way they had to shape the cabinet, but I think it looks really cool. It's unique, which is nice. They don't all look the exact same anymore. 
Uh, moving on to the controls, you have uh, four buttons, technically two triggers and two buttons, and that's really it. And you can also, of course, tilt the yoke forward and backward, side to side, turning and all that. Uh, this actually kind of is the very first uh, racing style cabinet. Hopefully, maybe they're going to start making racing games. It wouldn't be that far off from what they have to do, really. They can just pretty much replace this with a wheel, and they're kind of good to go. Uh, but really, I was surprised by the quality of this. I mean, it's not its not going to hold up in a real arcade. It's not going to hold up if your kids are hanging off of it or something. But this thing is pretty darn good. It's got good springs in it. It's quiet when it moves. Uh, this is a kind of hard plastic. I know the real arcade is probably metal from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's a really good one. I think it looks well made. Hopefully it'll hold up for quite some time because even if I do mod this, which we'll get to later in the video, I'm probably leaving the controls stock. The art on the cabinet is just gorgeous. I think they did a great job. It's nice, high quality art. Replicates the real cabinet quite well, I think. Uh, of course, you've got all your kick plate stuff down there that shows the different games that are in it. It has three different games in it, if you didn't know that already. The riser is really cool. I love that they're starting to make these custom risers for these cabinets. It's a little bit taller than your average riser. It has art all the way around. All three sides have art, not just the one on the front. Or you know, I really would have honestly expected Arcade one up to need to cut a corner here or there and maybe skip the art on the back, which I wouldn't have been upset at them about, but no, there's art all the way around this cabinet, which is a huge plus. I love that attention to detail that they're putting into these cabinets now. And honestly, I think they need to with the price that they're starting to get up there. Most of their new cabinets are coming out at about $500, but if you don't need to buy a new marquee, if that's important to you, you don't need to buy it. That saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort, and you don't need to buy the riser. It's already included. It already has art. These things are starting to look really cool. So yeah, overall, I think this cabinet is pretty much perfect. There's not anything that I would necessarily change on it. I know that sounds completely crazy. I didn't really plan on modding it, but of course I started looking at it like, oh, I could do this. I could put racing games in it. I can add Star Wars Trilogy to it. All things I'm looking at down the line. I do consider this my wife's cabinet, so I'm not going to make any moves without asking her. We've already discussed I will not drill any more holes in this. I will not add any buttons to it. So whatever I do, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. I'm gonna have just four buttons and the yoke, basically, to play with. So it'll be kind of interesting. I just don't wanna ruin the look of this cabinet. I think this cabinet's kind of perfect the way it is. I think it's really too pretty to go cutting on it and messing it up. We'll see what happens. I'm not promising I'm modding it, but you can guarantee if I do mod it, I'm gonna make some videos about it. That's all I have to say about this cabinet. If you have any questions about it in the comments below, please let me know. I'll try to answer them the best I can. This will not be the last video you see about this cabinet. I am gonna try to get a little bit better at the gameplay so I can maybe show you guys some of my kind of crappy gameplay. I'm still getting better at it. My wife and I are actually battling it out on the leaderboards here. Go ahead and leave me your high scores in the comments below for each game if you're like a big Star Wars fan and you have one of these. Leave me your high scores and I'm gonna see how just, just how bad I'm doing, basically. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this. It's a little bit longer than I'd anticipated, but I, I, it's such a cool cabinet. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm nearing 4,000 subscribers, which is really cool. Hopefully we'll keep moving faster and get to 5,000 quicker than we got to 4,000. Um, thank you guys again for watching this one. I'll see you on the next video. So I actually have another YouTube channel that I've had for years before I made this one. All it really is is me mountain biking and recording my rides and doing fun stuff with friends, but I reviewed some bike lights one time that were really, really bright. And since my wife is such a huge fan, she immediately thought, wow, these kind of like lightsabers are so bright. So we filled the garage with some fog and had some fun in the video review. Here's that video just as like a bonus if you made it all the way to the end of this video. <laughs> Do them with sounds, just like idiots, right? <laughs>